First off, I gotta correct an egregious and annoying error that I made yesterday multiple times. Criticizing the hajib. I'm forced to wear the hajib. Women are dying in opposition to the hajib. Honestly, I know how to say it correctly, but for some reason my brain and my mouth just weren't cooperating. I think I'm gonna go ahead and blame the time change. I haven't been sleeping great. Thanks to everybody who reminded me of the correct way to say hijab. With the Mueller report allegedly coming out soon and claims by reputable people that there will be no Russian collusion, all the people who have been deeply invested in this hoax are coming to the realization that their credibility is on the line now. <laughs> Although I'd argue that they've had no credibility for a long time and a majority of Americans agree with me. If Robert Mueller comes back, Mueller became a folk hero in the United States. Did the current president of the United States assist the Kremlin in an attack on our democracy? And if Mueller, after two years, comes back and says, I don't have the evidence to support that charge, that's a reckoning. That's a reckoning for progressives and Democrats who hope that Mueller would essentially erase the 2016 election. It's a reckoning for the media. <laughs> I love how he calls Mueller an American folk hero and admits that they all wanted Mueller to, quote, erase the 2016 election. It just shows how these media people really do live in a bubble and it clearly affects their reporting. And it has clearly affected the harpies at The View who don't care if there's any rush collusion or not, they still want to erase the 2016 election. The reason why they're freaking out is obviously because Pelosi came out and said that she didn't think Trump was worth impeachment and it's up in the air if she's scheming some other plan or if she's just in on the fact that there's no Russian collusion in this Mueller report. I'm going to go with the prediction that there's just not going to be any Russian collusion in the Mueller report. And the reason I'm saying this is just because there's been no indictments, no charges that have related to any sort of Russian collusion. Yeah, there's been uh, some indictments of some Russian troll farms that purchase Facebook ads and stuff, but this doesn't raise to the level of the entire Russian collusion delusion. You know, I think that um, the House has to do its job regardless if it doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, we, we all know that when you impeach a president, the House votes to impeach, but then the trial is held by the Senate. And because the House is run by Democrats, the House would likely impeach if they find high crimes and misdemeanors. Right. The Senate would never convict him. So Not that, at this point. At this point. I don't think at any point, honestly, because well, I think it's so partisan right now. So the Republicans are in charge of the Senate. Okay, now, first off, I just want to point out how Hostin claims that she doesn't think the Republican Senate would impeach Trump because because it's so partisan now. Okay, so clearly Hostin is either low information or she just chose not to inform her viewers that Bill Clinton was never actually impeached because he was acquitted of both charges by the Democrat-controlled Senate. Frankly, I think there is partisanship. I mean, obviously there's partisanship, but the Senate would not vote to impeach Trump because he's done nothing wrong and there's been no crimes. Now, if he was actually accused of crimes, then I have no doubt that the Senate would have no problems impeaching him. That's not how this is going to conclude, though. My guess is that the Mueller report's going to come out. It's not going to show any Russian collusion. And the media and Democrats will just move on to some other investigation or other accusations. And this will continue through the 2020 election and through his next term if he wins. But that doesn't mean that the House shouldn't do its job and make sure that the, that the, that the people of the United States feel confident that at least okay. one you know, there's one way for the there's job. One So why is impeachment of Trump the House's job? You can't impeach a president just because you can't deal with the fact that you lost the election. No doubt, if they could, and they did, the minute Republicans traded places and tried to do the same thing, the media and Democrats would most certainly cry foul. I also fail to see how impeaching a president for no reason other than the fact that he beat you in the election will inspire any confidence in the American people outside the mentally disturbed left. It would no doubt solidify divisions and continue the erosion of confidence in American institutions. We are not going to impeach Donald Trump over paying hush money to a stripper. Now, mm -hmm. if we find out that he's compromised by Russia, that he's a Russian asset, I assure you that falls under the something compelling and overwhelming. And high For fuck's sake, these people are completely deranged. They actually believe that Trump is a Russian agent working for Putin to overthrow the United States. In any other case, this claim would be treated as an insane conspiracy theory, but since it's being used to take down a Republican president who wasn't supposed to win the election, it's given credibility by the media. Honestly, which is crazier, that Trump is a secret Russian agent or that Obama's birth certificate is a fake? Remember way back in 2016 when the media lost their minds after Trump said that he might challenge election results if he didn't win? They went crazy and claimed that if Trump challenged election results, it would be an attack on our democracy. 
By their own standards, the media has led a two-year-long attack on this democracy, and all because they can't accept that the Democrats lost the election. It's the thing, you know, do you get a president out by voting? Of course, that's part of our process, but the Constitution is also very much so a part of our process, and the Founding Fathers wanted to make sure that we were protected as the American people against things like high crimes and misdemeanors. Will you be and satisfied, the Sonny, if Mueller comes out and there isn't a direct link between Trump and Russia and the collusion? I will be satisfied when the process works the way the process is supposed to work. Basically, Hostin is admitting here that they can't win through voting and that they must use other means. As I said in yesterday's video, the left is attacking the ability to oppose them on all fronts. If Trump is charged with a crime, then by all means, put him on trial and do what needs to be done. But what the zealot is saying is that even if there are no crimes, they'll just find other ways. They won't give up until they found some way to remove him or until he leaves office at the end of his two terms. Even then, I have a feeling that they won't relent because above all, they want to threaten others who might try and follow in Trump's footsteps. Thanks for watching. After many requests, I'm now accepting cryptocurrency for donations. You can find my public addresses in the descriptions of every video. If you're not into crypto but you still want to donate, please check out my Patreon channel, my Subscribestar channel, or PayPal. You can find links in the description of every video and in the pinned comments. Thanks.